Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are just gonna sit down, have a little bit of coffee. I hope everybody enjoyed their Thanksgiving weekend with their family. Um, Cyber Monday is quickly approaching. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys were able to do all of the Christmas shopping you had to do from the comfort of your own home because there's nothing better than online shopping. I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing I hate more than going into the stores during any kind of Black Friday, anything. That chaos, that like trying to fight people for, you know, a deal. Not really my cup of tea, you know what I mean? Not, not doing it. Okay. I do speak from experience. I did do it once and it was, it was quite unpleasant. So it was stressful. I was tired. Not really worth it. Okay. So today we're going to be using a couple of um, different products, um, mostly from Westman Atelier because she's currently having 20% off of everything on her site. Uh, and so I kind of wanted to go over some of the stuff that I had picked up uh, during her holiday launch, which was the Le Etoile, I think I'm pronouncing that right, <laughs> uh, set. These are all brand new products in here, and I'm gonna be using them uh, during this video. Her little petite brush sets are on sale for those of you who want to try her brushes and can't quite swing the $500 for the like all nine of them in the set that she has. She has this little petite version where she has chosen, you know, her four like most bestseller brushes and made them into their like little petite versions. And they are 20% off on her website right now. So, just so that you know, the brushes, the actual diameter of the brush remains the same as the original brush. So, for example, I have the original version of this one. This is the full size. And you can see that the brushes are the same diameter. Really, the only thing that changes is the length of the actual brush. Uh, with the exception of the blender. The blender brush in here actually is smaller in uh, diameter but the height of the brush remains the same because in her line this is actually the smallest brush in length uh, so you can see it is the same size but with this one the actual brush head is smaller all right we're gonna be using all of these brushes in this demo and then I will talk to you guys about some of the things that I picked up uh, on her website during this 20% off. It's this little pin. I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video um, after this one about the hair pins. If you, I have very heavy hair, uh, which means like my actual hair follicles are very thick. Uh, so it makes my hair really heavy, which is why I have a lot of um, difficulty with getting volume at the crown of my head. And so the, anything kind of pin or French, anything, um, you know, those light, wispy like hair looks that you see people do, I can never do that. It, it just, things won't hold my hair. I will bend the actual product, uh, even hair clips. I have to buy the extra large hair clips just so that it has enough grip to hold the heaviness of my hair. Not necessarily that I have thick hair. So that's why I kind of wanted to explain. Uh, if you have hair type like mine where your actual hair follicles are just very thick and not necessarily that you have a lot of hair, <laughs> this is gonna work great for you. Like the teeth don't bend, but they're solid. I use them all the time. I ended up picking up the silver one because it was the only color I didn't have. And I love them. I use them all the time. Okay, moving right along. 
I also picked up the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight in Peau de Santé because this color is exclusive uh, to her site. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna be using it in this video. I also picked up the Vital Press uh, skincare powder in the color Cream. I have translucent right now, um, so I'm not gonna be using this one because this is a clean beauty brand and I have learned my lesson. Um, I love this powder. This is why I picked up the Cream. I fell in love with the translucent one and so I won't I won't be opening that until I'm I'm ready to use it because clean beauty products don't last as long as uh, you know regular uh, makeup products. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start off by using my Vital Skincare Complexion Drops in the color Atelier Two. And this is my winter shade. Um, my summer shade in this would be the number three, in case you use me as a shade reference. And then I'm gonna add one drop of the liquid super loaded highlighter in Peau de Peche for just a little luminosity. For reference here, I have my translucent um, shade. I've used this quite a bit and have not I've made the most minimal dent. I just need her to come out with the refills of this already because I kind of did not want to buy a brand new compact. I could have saved more money just by buying the refills, but I'm hoping that this upcoming year is her, her year of really focusing on getting us those refills since the lip suede are already available in the refill. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the blender brush. And I really like this product um, in conjunction with the, the stick because her stick foundation is much more matte than the complexion drops. But sometimes when I want to give the complexion drops like a little bit of a luminosity, I will add a drop of this, which is what I'm going for today. But normally I use this with the Vital um, Stick Foundation. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm using my Ricky Loves Ricky Mirror um, on this side. The reason I'm mentioning this is because People with uh, dry to normal skin sometimes do not um, like her, her stick foundation because it's, to me, it's like a soft matte finish and like a satin finish. And they find it to be a bit drying. So instead of having it just sit on your vanity waste of money, um, I would suggest you add a drop of this to your face and then go in with the stick foundation and problem solved. Now for inquiring minds, um, I had already done a video about these brushes and I will link that in the description down below so you guys can get all the details about these brushes if you're interested in purchasing them. I hope she makes the entire line in like this little petite version because these are great for travel and you really are not um, sacrificing quality. I've washed these already and I've been using them ever since I bought them. I actually bought these brushes when they first launched. So I've had them for about maybe like a month and a half I would say. And they're just very well made. Next, I'm going in with the stick foundation and the spot check just to cover up some blemish scars. And I kind of apply a little bit around my nose during, like when it gets cold here, um, the edges of my nose 
get really red and I understand that I live in Florida so all of you living up north are laughing right now as you should but you know Floridians anything below 70 degrees we just we don't understand we don't understand I'm going to tell you right now Floridians have full full winter gear out right now I'm walking around in my boots okay just so that we're clear oh and I'm Atelier 2 on the foundation uh, stick and I think that that's like my all year round shade because I think three is too dark for me and one is too light for me so in case you all were wondering everything on her website is 20% off that's including the brush cup and the uh tray her her train case the whole thing it's throughout the site so if you were a lot of the times when she's run sales it excludes those kind of things i got this one for my birthday and now that it's 20 percent off i'm like dang should have just waited <laughs> but this is like the first time they've ever had a Black Friday sale because they've never really had one. And here is the tray. I got mine with like the gray apple leather. So far, I like it. Uh, I have I have no complaints, but again, I've only had it for a month. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the contour stick in the color Biscuit and i will be using the i'm actually going to use this one i'm going to use my blender brush and i just i love this color i think it's a very subtle contour i never hopped on the heavily like contoured train you guys remember when that was a thing <laughs> i never I never did because I just felt like in real life it wasn't practical it didn't look natural and you could it didn't matter how much you blend it you could tell that somebody had like heavily contoured their face that kind of stuff really only looks really on good on camera right uh, but when you're out and you know you're in front of people that heavy contour you know I don't know it just never looked good on me it really didn't so this uh, contour stick I feel gives me the utmost subtle um, contour possible and it can double up as bronzer if you want so next let's go in with the blush that's in this set this is the first these three products I think is like the best thing you can purchase during the 20% off sale because all three of these products are brand new so this is the first of its kind it is a powder blush and her best selling shade petal this is stunning i'm gonna swatch it for you guys of course all of her products have that little heart on the mirror which i think is the cutest little touch so here is a swatch a finger swatch this is much lighter than the actual stick but you do have the ability to build it up and it is the powder version of like her petal stick I'm actually gonna set my face first with the Vital Press skincare powder and I'm using her uh, powder brush because this is a very, um, the Complexion Drops is like a very dewy foundation, but I really love the way it makes my skin feel I love the way my skin looks after wearing it. <laughs> it just, it really nourishes my skin in the best way. 
I'm gonna use the baby blender with the blush and I'm going to just use tapping motions at first because the last time I used this, I didn't realize that this is gonna be so pigmented as you can see. And I ended up applying more than I wanted to because her, I wasn't expecting it. Her products are not like heavily pigmented ever. So I was, I was confused and most people were confused. Like I've seen people review this set already and they were just as surprised as I was with the pigmentation. So I'm just using soft circular motions to blend that in, put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Now let's go in with the highlighting stick. This is a lit up stick. First of all, super festive. <laughs> let's just start with that, okay. Uh, but this, this is a really stunning highlighter and it was, basically she got her best selling contour stick which i just applied to my face and she made a highlight out of it it's beautiful i like to use these not only as a highlight but also at, on my lips so i i thoroughly enjoy these lit up sticks and i get a lot of use out of them because they're very versatile i also sometimes use it to highlight the brow bone and i'll do that now but i want to apply the eyeshadow first before i go in with that okay so i'm just just so that we're done with this set i'm gonna apply her squeaky a lip balm in the color nectar this is actually one of like her best-selling lit up stick shades it is called nectar so she created that same shade in a squeaky lip balm and let me swatch that for you she did a really good job at replicating the colors because the lit up stick is quite literally exactly the same so she did a really good job and I love the whole concept of the trio. You know, she got her best selling shades in different products and she expanded on that and created different, you know, different formulas for them. And I do have to say, I, I like the beautiful festive red packaging. All right, what I want to use, and this is something that you can still find at different retailers, Neiman, um, Bl uh, not Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, um, Saks. You can actually Google where this is the I Love You set. The reason I picked this up was because of the eyeshadow. So you got the three iPods in like a brand new formula, which is like a powder kind of formula an eyeliner in black and her mascara this is the original mascara but in this video i'm going to be using the formula i actually like which is her new one if you're new to this channel i really don't like her original formula i have one bottle and it's very flaky it's very dry i it didn't work for me some people love it i guess i don't know truly mine were not they were not good so when you lift you you have these tabbies on the side when you lift the tray on the bottom there's an envelope and here here's your envelope and inside you have a little card talking about your set and the little baggies for your products so you have one for your mascara and one for your ipods I use them, I use those baggies a lot to be quite honest with you. So let me tell you the story about my relationship. I'm not going to use this black eyeliner because I actually uh, bought the brown one during the Sephora sale and again, clean beauty, like I don't want to um, have multiple things of the same thing open. Uh, 
because they'll they will go bad okay so i had originally purchased this um with a gift card from nordstrom and i ended up returning it because when i first applied it to my eyes it would burn my eyes and i was like you know what maybe i'm allergic to something in this but i'm not allergic to anything so i found it quite strange i returned it and honestly i didn't think twice about it i talked to a couple of people who reviewed this who actually have very sensitive skin and i kind of asked and made a comment like hey you know um does this burn when you apply it to your eyes and they were just like no <laughs> no um i was like okay maybe i got a maybe i got a bad batch like when nordstrom put this set 50 percent off i snagged it again because i was like okay now i'm gonna really be able to test out if i'm allergic to this because i can just return this i that's what i love about shopping at nordstrom i feel safe like if i don't like something i know i can return it no questions asked you know so i picked it up again and immediately i tried it on so this is not a first impressions video i am gonna start swatching this for you guys first color we have here it, oh let me just show you you got two gold pods one sparkly gold pod so first color i am going to swatch for you is actually my favorite shade in this entire pod which is mink and this is a completely new formula to me it's like the powder version of her original ipods uh these pack a punch they're very pigmented and they last they do not crease like her ipods so in case you guys were wondering anyways so i i picked it up and I applied it and it didn't burn my eyes so that was confirmation that I probably got one that was expired or bad or whatnot sometimes that happens you know you really don't know how long something has been sitting on the shelf so here is a finger swatch swatch of mink it is like this taupey uh, metallic glittery shade it is stunning this is perfect for like a one and done uh shade or to layer i've actually worn it both ways and both ways look stunning you can build this up you really do have the option of packing a punch with this shade so this is like two layers and it just continues to get a little deeper and you can see on the finger swatch it does it is very opaque very sparkly i don't get fallout which i was afraid of with these like sparkly shades next i'm going to swatch smudge which is this stunning um chocolate brown shade and the reason I want to show you this formula is because she I don't know if you guys caught her stories I think it was Thanksgiving I think it was Thursday um, she used a powder eyeshadow which is like brand new it's a brand new product so I don't know if she is going to add this kind of formula to her line and so if so i kind of wanted to give you my two cents on it in case you want to pick it up when it launches so here is the smudge shade it is a matte uh chocolatey brown shade i'm doing a very poor job at swatching this i just want you to know this is very very dark <laughs> and you can make this as deep as you want it I've actually used this as eyeliner as well. Like, look how dark that can become. Here is the finger swatch. And last but not least, I'm gonna swatch FET. FET, to me, you can wear it alone or as a topper shade, but I feel like it is definitely a topper shade. And I'll show you now this reminds me of like the more intense version of tabak the ipod that she has 
but this is very glittery and very sparkly it has more of a gold finish tabak has more of like an orange this definitely has orange an orange undertone but i feel like tabak is more opaque in formula this is more like i said a topper shade and you'll see that in my swatch so there it is by the way makeup eraser is having an amazing sale uh, on amazon i picked up these are the sizes i like to use these are like the seven day set this is like the disney villains uh set that i have but i use these a lot when i am filming with you guys because i have to remove swatches and all that stuff and it just it does a great job they rock they wash extremely well in the washing machine and uh for those of you who don't like using any kind of cleanser on your face these are great uh to remove makeup and this size is like perfect for both that's why i purchased this particular size i find that if i use, uh, purchase the larger ones i can i kind of only use that for my face but these i can use it for creating and i also use them to take off face masks like when i put face masks at night and stuff like that i will use that to wipe it off because they're very gentle okay i digress now let's apply let's go ahead and apply these um products i'm gonna start off with smudge and i'm going to use my eyeshadow 2 brush this is the really feathery fluffy one I'm going to dip really lightly into this color and I'm going to swipe it all over the lid for a wash of color. This does a very good job at blending colors out. I'm keeping this color directly on the lid and applying the rest in the socket but i'm not going beyond the socket these brushes they're very soft very gentle on the skin and they are fude which means they are handmade in japan so, so are the petite ones, by the way, for those of you who were wondering. If you follow them on YouTube, they recently did a video where she went to visit um, the actual place where these brushes are made. And it kind of shows you the kind of work that goes into creating these brushes. Okay, so I've done like a little wash of color on the lid. Next. I'm gonna go in with <clears throat> my, this is uh, the eyeshadow one brush. I think this is one of my favorite ones because of the tapered pointy uh, tip because I can use this as an eyeliner brush as well as laying down whatever eyeshadow I want. I'm gonna go in with the color uh, Mink and I'm gonna lay this all over the lid. And I'm swiping it all over the lid. I also love that this brush is pointy because it helps me get into the corner of the eye without getting product anywhere else. So already look how beautiful that looks. Okay, next I'm going to go in with Fet. And I'm going to use that as a topper shade. And I'm going to use my eyeshadow 2 brush in the petite version. I'm just applying FET right to the center of the lid. For a touch of light. Absolutely stunning. Next, I'm gonna go in with some of her eyeliner. This is in the color brown. This is uh, very pigmented and it looks exactly like smudge. 
So there is the eyeliner, the eyeliner swatch. And I'm using the side of the pencil and I'm kind of like tight lining. I'm only doing half the eye. So very, very thin line, very creamy. I am thoroughly impressed with this eyeliner. This is about the third time I use it and it doesn't smudge. I mean, it doesn't budge. You can smudge it out, but it once it sets, you're good. I'm gonna go in with some uh, brow pencil in the color Bark. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this just to give my eyebrows a little bit of light. Also very pigmented for those of you who are wondering. This does have a spoolie on the other end and it doesn't have any product. I wish it would have had brow gel. Um, I hope that, you know, that's in her future. <laughs> but it is a waxy formula and those of you with shorter eyebrow hairs may not need brow gel but for those of us with long eyebrow hairs we we do need a little a little hold and although this is waxy and it does provide some hold it's not enough for those of us with longer eyebrow hairs okay that is it like look how beautiful that this whole trio is so if you're able to find this at your local retailer on sale this you can also find this on credo beauty uh, check like just do a kind of like a Google search and see where they have this set because this iPod is only included in that set so if you can get it on sale I think it's beautiful for the holidays I think it's stunning now let's apply some of the pot de santé I want to apply it over my uh, blush and I'm gonna use my petite blender uh, And I'm just gonna go Directly well, I should swatch it right. I just well, yeah, let me swatch it for you guys So you can use this on your eyes on your face You know as a highlighter over like as a blush I'm gonna swatch it next to the It's a very subtle but it does provide the most beautiful sheen so you see that that's just one layer let's see if we can build it up i've never used this product before this is like my first time using it this is a uh, two layers here so it's very minimal and because we're using like a little matte blush that you know from her new set I'm gonna go in with the blender and I'm gonna apply some of this onto the cheek. I'm just gonna swoop it over and see what it does. <gasps> That's pretty. It does, it does, it turns your matte blush into a glowy blush, but without the greasiness, if that makes sense. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> I have combination oily skin, so if I want a glowy bl br blush, I can't even speak, that's not gonna leave my skin greasy. So there it is, isn't that pretty? So you have the glow of the lipstick and then you have that over. I think this is like a really nice versatile product. I can tell why people really love this. They kind of 
they kind of go a little bit nuts over this product. I think um, it sold out during the Sephora sale. Sephora doesn't have this particular color. This particular color is exclusive to the Westman Atelier site. But I did pick up the Pot de Rosé. I think that's what it's called from the Sephora sale. And I haven't even used it yet. This is like the first one I'm demoing in this video. Uh, somebody told me that they have this and it's like a holy grail product. One of my subscribers said it's like one of their holy grail products. I really like it. I think it's stunning. All right. So I had to turn towards the light. I'm always chasing the light in this house. It has all of Thanksgiving weekend has been gloomy. The sun has peaked out maybe for two minutes. Tops. So. Here is the blush with the Pote Sante over it. It's really pretty. I really like it. Leave me a comment down below. How Did you guys purchase this when it launched? Um, have you been using it? Did it make your eyes burn like it did? Did you guys have a similar experience to mine? Uh, do you love this new formula? I actually do, by the way, like this new formula. And I think that that's this new formula she's alluding to. I think she may be adding this into the permanent line. Um, maybe she tweaked it to like perfect it, you know, or something. But leave me a comment down below with, you know, the things that you picked up during the sale. I would love to know. I also wanted to let you guys know, I'm gonna apply some mascara by the way. And this one is her new one. It's called I Want You Mascara and this is in the brown color. Uh, I did pick up other things during Black Friday. I placed a Glossier order because if your order was more than $100, you got 30% off. And you guys know I have been enjoying the Glossier U perfume that I picked up during the Sephora sale and I wanted to get the candle in the perfume which is like a clean it's all it's not a clean brand so I've been trying to switch over and only burn like clean candles in my house and I thought that that would be a beautiful um scent to burn in my home I got that one and I got the pink one and I also, I also picked up a couple of their products that I've been wanting to try. So you guys will see a video of that coming soon. But 30% off I thought was like the best deal I'm ever gonna get in beauty. So you guys will be seeing me demo that soon. I picked up the bomb.com products because I've been wanting to try that. I picked up the foundation, the setting powder, and I 30% off is a, I think that's a good, that's a nice discount for beauty products because the most you get as a Rouge member at Sephora is 20% off and the most I've ever gotten um, at re other retailers has been 25% off. I usually have never gotten 30% off of beauty. This is such a good mascara for those of you who haven't tried it. This is everything I expected and wanted from the original one. Um, it It is lengthening. It does not flake. It is just stunning. And I love the brown color uh, because... I think that it's very versatile. So like you can build it up and make it very deep with a couple of layers like I did, or you can just put one layer and have it be like very subtle where you can, you know, people will question whether or not you're wearing mascara. Um, such, such a good formula. Hats off to her on this one. All right, that completes this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Leave me a comment down below with the goodies that you picked up for this Black Friday. I would love to know. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.